We are outside and we are coming to the next smoke shop near you. A pledge for people living amongst unregulated smoke shops across the city, many of which have hijacked neighborhoods and those who call them home. Residents in the local communities are fed up. And two spots in the Bronx were liberated in the past few days in Throgs Neck and Mott Haven. Enough people spoke up and demanded action. They got it. But we also need the people to keep calling because the residents are the ones that live in these communities that see this behavior every day. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson applauding the actions of a few, which led to authorities recently raiding and shutting down multiple weed warehouses. Those takedowns netting over $10 million in illegal and unlicensed product even a shotgun. There's a real focus on young people in this. It's clearly this area has become a distribution hub for throughout the city. It's not safe and it creates dangerous and hazardous conditions in our communities. We talked to countless residents trying to get their take on how this was ruining the feel of their neighborhood, but no one felt comfortable going on camera, not even the community board. However, they do tell us they hope that all of them stay closed just like this one. The surprise inspections have ramped up over the past few months. The city and state giving the sheriff more teeth to fine and padlock properties. Dealers are being squeezed so much that we've spotted countless vendors now selling on the sidewalks in the Bronx. They had patio chairs, they had signage in the tree stump, and they were advertising cannabis products. That is what's happening now, and that's as a result of the unintended consequences of our actions to shut down the stores. Which is why Gibson continues encouraging her constituents to be another set of eyes advocating for safer streets. In the South Bronx, I'm Anthony okay, okay. DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.